this is Paul Group of GlidePass Consulting. Today, I'm going to go over a quick new feature in the Quebec release of ServiceNow. It is called Instant Scan. So what this does is it basically does a scan over your instance, looking for any kind of security improvements, some best practices, you know, really trying to help make sure that you're following the out-of-box best practices and, and making sure you're not going to have, you know, potential issues in the future with your instance. So over here, you look, you can see here, we have a new application called Instant Scan. And then within this check section here, we have a schedule full scan, which you can schedule it to run. You know, a lot of times it's recommended, you know, if you're uh, doing a new release, so an upgrade of ServiceNow, or if you're deploying a new feature into your platform, you can have it scheduled to, to run, you know, after that's completed. So for today, we're going to go ahead and run, execute a full scan. So you'll see here, it starts, you know, running in the background, it starts going through things. And these checks are something that you can, you know, add to or remove, you know, really kind of geared towards, you know, if there's something in particular that you want to kind of look for. So we'll let this kind of run through a scan and, you know, it doesn't take very long. So should be, uh, give us our results here in a moment. All right, now that it's uh, completed, we can go to review the result of the scan. And we can see here all the different scan findings and the checks it's run, and then how long it took and that we can see the status is complete. So under related links here, there's this results dashboard, which is uh, extremely helpful. So you can see here, you know, our latest scan is this one here. So we found 845 findings. And then you can see, you know, over time, you know, we've, We've only scanned it today, so but over time you'll start to see your graph of you know, how many findings are you finding total, you know, as a as a time period goes on. And then under here you have the category breakdown. So what's your high priority, moderate, and low? And then also breaking down by the different products that you have and, and where it's finding most of the issues. In this bottom section here, you have findings by developer. So based on who updated the record last where it's finding some sort of issue. It'll kind of break it down and so you can kind of see, okay, you know, maybe Alex, he had 21 findings. It might be a good opportunity to work with him on best practices and, and talk through, you know, what are the findings so that he can, you know, be, uh, improve going forward. So if we go here, let's say we go into our current scan, scan number 10 here. And then we have, you know, a couple of these say users should not have external and internal roles. So let's just go ahead and open that record up. So you can see here, you can see the source, which is there's the user. You can see kind of the description of it and what you should do to rectify the situation. So there's a couple of options we can do here. You can actually click this mute button. And then if let's say, you know, this is something that you're just gonna, you know, accept, uh, you, you're not gonna take any action on it. So you can say, you know, it's not applicable, it's too risky of a change, or maybe it's not a priority right now. That way it doesn't continue to pop up on your report saying, hey, this is a, you know, a finding that you need to take care of. The other option here is there's this task field. So you can actually come here and create a new scan task. I can sign up to myself and let's say, you know, update users roles. We'll go ahead and submit that. So now we have an actual task to be worked. So if we go take a look at that task, we can see here, you know, where it came from. So what's the scan findings that it came from? And let's just say, you know, we went ahead and we took care of the situation. So we went ahead and resolved it. So now if we go back to our resort results dashboard and we go ahead and say, let's go ahead and rescan. So we had 845 findings prior. And then we'll let this scan through and then we'll be able to see that, hey, you know, we're addressing findings and the number is going down, you know, as those tasks are remediated. And then, we'll, you know, if you do mute them, you'll also see your findings go down as well. All right, so we go to the results of the latest scan. And we'll see here, you know, here's our latest scan, 846. And then we can see from the previous scan, there's 844 and we've addressed one of them. So this scan did, 
you know, find a couple additional things that may have changed in the environment. We do have some applications installing in the background right now, so that would explain you know, why our number would go up. But you can see from the previous scan, you know, we had 844 unaddressed findings. We did address one of them. So it'll show you a trend of, hey, you know, each scan, how many things are you addressing based on creating those tasks and someone working through and, and taking care of that, that scan that it found. Other than that, you know, I think this is going to be a really good uh, application coming out. So this is with the Quebec release of ServiceNow. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to GlideFast and make sure you check out our other YouTube videos while you're here. Thanks.